What's happening guys? Welcome back. We're laying fiberglass today. All right guys, we are gonna lay fiberglass this episode. Um, I've been talking about it for a long time, but after we spent all the time prepping the buck last week, it's time to actually uh, gel coat and then put the fiberglass on and make a mold. So, uh, first thing we're gonna do today, give that, uh, that cowl buck a good uh, wipe down, a little polish with a microfiber rag, and then mix up some of this, uh, this is tooling gel coat. Um, so we'll mix up some of this and then uh, put, I think it calls for like one or two layers. We'll see how thick it goes on. And then after that, I got some fiberglass mat. We'll cut a couple strips of that and start laying up the fiberglass. So let's figure out how to mix this stuff up. pretty easy um, I've never worked with gel coat before in my life so this is a learning experience uh, I definitely under catalyzed it I did about like 10 to 12 drops per ounce when I probably should have done closer to 15 or 20 drops per ounce uh, because of that at this temperature it's gonna take like four hours to cure so I'm gonna leave it overnight uh, we're definitely gonna have to put a second layer on because there's some pretty thin spots, I can still see white through it. So I'm gonna go inside for the night and I'll catch up with you guys tomorrow. And we're back. Um, it's actually two days later. I came out last night and threw another coat of gel coat on here uh, just to, to fill in any of those, uh, those thin spots and, uh, and give us a nice thick uniform layer. So everything's got two layers of gel coat on it. Uh, we are going to do the fiberglass here. This is still kind of tacky, which I'm told is a good thing. Uh, it means that we don't have to sand it before we put the, the glass matting on. Uh, but before we jump into glass, I've noticed that I'm getting quite a few kind of splatters and drips over here on, on an area that we didn't prep at all. So I'm going to cover that whole area with packing tape so that when we go to pull this thing off of the form, it's not all stuck to it. So I bought a couple rolls of packing tape. Let's uh, cover her up. It turns out one roll is enough. I didn't need to buy four. But we got all the, the, the non-prepped areas all taped off. Um, I got a bunch of fiberglass matting already cut here. I don't know if you guys can see that. So we got big chunks here for kind of the flat plate on the front. And then we got some thinner chunks cut for the side. So next step is I'm gonna mix up some resin. Um, oh, I also have... I also have this, this is just loose chop strand. My thoughts are we'll mix some of this in with the resin and then come in and, and coat kind of the, the really hard to access areas where there's like an inside corner. 
and hopefully this will make it strong enough. Uh, the first layer of fiberglass that we put on here is the most important layer because if there's any voids or air pockets in between the gel coat and this first layer of fiberglass, basically when we go to lay fiberglass on the inside, it'll crack through those, those holes and then we won't be able to get it out of the mold. So we're going to take our time and, and do it right. So let's mix up some resin and throw some glass down. Now the wonderful part about this polyester resin is it doesn't dry, it cures. So they recommend putting a couple coats on at a time or a couple layers of glass. So I'm gonna throw another layer of glass on it. there we have it um, camera battery went dead halfway through putting the second uh, second layer of glass on but I was way too sticky to, to even attempt a battery change so I just carried on without you guys um, we got two layers of glass on there now I'm gonna let those cure overnight and then we'll come back tomorrow probably and put some strengthening ribs in and, and try a kind of an edge piece where I've just kind of filled it in with that loose chop strand um, but uh, I need to have a bit of time to edit you guys, so I'm going to call an episode there and we'll show you the, uh, the final pieces and then hopefully pop it off the mold next week. So in the meantime guys, thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already, hit the like and subscribe button. Uh, go follow us on Instagram, Left Foot First Media. Uh, I post pictures of kind of what we're doing throughout the week on there. And uh, yeah. We'll see you next week. I'm out of here.